In this lesson, we will cover how to move drawing dimensions from one view to another view and how to copy properties from one dimension to another dimension. Let's get started here by changing our annotation or to the annotation panel. I'm going to apply a general dimension and I'm going to select the two edges. Let's just zoom in tight, make sure I get the correct edge. And you notice in this case it's 125.00. What I wanted to point out with this dimension here, if I zoom up tight, you can grab these grip points because these are drawing dimensions, just so they would be just like an AutoCAD associative dimension. So I can go back, I can grab that. Also, when applying these dimensions, I can dimension you know, not only from the endpoint, but you can also dimension to a midpoint of a line. So just by moving your cursor over, it'll go green to the green dot, and that's to the midpoint. Now after applying that dimension, if you change your mind and say I really wanted to move that dimension to another view, simply move your cursor over that dimension, right click and select move dimension from the menu, and then go ahead and select a point inside the view that you want that dimension to be placed. In this case you'll see that I moved it to the top. I'm just going to move that dimension down. And you see that it looks pretty good on the left hand side. But on the right hand side, I'm just going to go back and fix the point that it's going to be inserted to, right to that end point. Now with these dimensions, not only was I able to move it, in this case vertically, I can move it horizontally as well to go back and get a different value if I wanted to. Just like shown here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete these dimensions. And I'm going to retrieve a sketch or model dimension. In this case I'm just going to bring back the 125. And you see that that dimension looks good. I can go back, I could center it. But I can also move this dimension from one view to another. So in this case I'm going to do the exact same thing. Move my cursor over, then select move dimension from the menu and then go back and I'm just going to pick a point in the view that I want it to go to. And same exact scenario, in this case I'll recenter it. And you notice the grip points again, I'm going to go back and reposition them as shown here. But this is a model sketch dimension so what I can't do is I can't move it horizontally. In this case, you'll see I can only move it vertically. I cannot change the value of that dimension here. So let's go back and just apply a couple dimensions real quickly here. And what I want to do is I want to take this 125 dimension and let's make some overrides to it. So under the text, let's go back and I'm, I'm just going to type in the note typical, even though it probably doesn't apply in this case. For the precision, I'm going to make it a basic dimension, and I'm also going to place it at three decimal places. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now what I want to do is I want to have the other dimensions be exactly like this other one, but what I didn't do is I didn't create a dimension style, so I cannot change the style. But what I can do is move my cursor over that dimension, right click, copy properties. Now before selecting the dimensions, I can right click click on settings and from this dialog box I can choose what part of these styles do I want to have copied or not copied over to the new style or to the new dimension so in this case I'm going to select everything and now I can just simply select the dimension or dimensions that I want to have the properties be set back over to